During the COVID-19 pandemic, it's important that oral healthcare staff responsible for providing treatment take careful steps to protect themselves and their patients from infection. Treatment rooms should be very neat with limited storage areas. Hand washing is a key measure to prevent the transmission of infection. Staff should perform hand hygiene using an alcohol-based hand rub product or soap and water before putting on or taking off PPE and before and after treatment. Hand washing with water and soap should last for 40 to 60 seconds. Following these steps, wet hands with water, apply enough soap to cover the entire surface of both hands. Rub the palms of the hands together. Rub the palm of each hand against the back of the other hand interlacing fingers. Rub hands, palm to palm, interlacing fingers again. Rub the back of fingers on opposing palms with fingers interlocked. Rub the left thumb in the right palm and vice versa. Rub clasped fingers in a circular motion on each palm. Rinse hands with water. Dry hands thoroughly with a single-use towel and then use the towel to turn off the tap. Oral healthcare personnel must be trained to use appropriate personal protective equipment, or PPE, ensuring they understand how to put on, use, and remove PPE to prevent self-contamination. When putting on PPE, they should perform hand hygiene, put on the gown, then the mask, then eye protection, and finally gloves. Next patient, please. Hi. I see you have bad tooth decay. We will give you an anesthetic and proceed with a filling. Instrument packaging is important as it allows the instruments to remain sterile until they are used, reducing the risk of cross-contamination. During the pandemic, the World Health Organization recommends avoiding or minimizing aerosol-generating procedures, or AGPs. Instead, dentists should use less invasive restorative techniques using hand instruments. If an aerosol-generating procedure is required, a fit-tested respiratory protection is recommended. I have finished. Your tooth is filled and should no longer cause you pain. If you can just spit into this cup, please, are you feeling okay? Yes. My assistant will take you back to the waiting room. At the end of the treatment, the assistant should send the instruments to the sterilization area. Respirators, surgical masks, gowns and gloves should be discarded after every patient. Reusable eye protection and face shields must be cleaned and disinfected prior to reuse. There are temporary strategies for reprocessing masks or respirators. Reprocessing should be only considered when there is a critical shortage of PPE. Personnel should perform hand hygiene twice after glove or gown removal and after removing eye protection or masks. To further prevent the possibility of any aerosol transmission, there should be adequate ventilation in all patient care areas. It's best to choose natural ventilation and avoid the use of air conditioners or other types of recirculation devices. Air filtration systems can also be installed, with professionals carrying out any air conditioning maintenance. By following all these steps when treating patients, we can help to reduce the transmission of COVID-19.